can KD come all the way back this year? Here's my thing, Perk. If KD's 80% of himself, forget about exactly the game. That's more or less a Paul George-level player. And when I look at the Brooklyn Nets, if it's, if it's Kyrie, Paul George, Levert, and Dinwiddie, to me that's not a finals team. That's a conference finals team. Is KD getting all the way back? And if so, what does that mean for the Nets? That means that they're coming out of the East. If KD is, yeah. if KD is almost KD, they're coming out of the Eastern Conference with the team that they have right now. They're not lacking anything. They have shooting. They have scoring. They have rim protection. They have two certified centers to li- over the. Uh, you talking about um, DeAndre Jordan and, and, and Allen? Right, both of those young, both of those guys are, are rim protectors, live threats at the rim, and then you add in a Levert, along with a Spencer Dinwiddie coming off the bench. If they decide to keep them, this team is going to be electrifying. Okay, now you and I have gone over this. You know, look, Mavs Lakers are highlighting the Christmas slate, but the Mavs aren't going to have Porzingis on Christmas. But hopefully, they will have him later in the season. And Perk. When I think of Luca, who you just said is one of your MVP candidates, mine too, this man almost averaged a 30-point triple-double, shooting 32% from three. Let's say that goes up to 35%. He's a little more experienced. His defense gets a little better. And Porzingis, people, people, so much of this stuff is perception. Think of Porzingis on the Knicks, how he was ascending on the Knicks. He was a franchise centerpiece. Then he got hurt, takes a year to get back, a year to get back to where you were. By the playoffs, if he's healthy, those two are going to be a whole lot. They are my number one threat to the Lakers. Who's yours? <clears throat> I, I, I like Dallas, man. And, and don't forget, Max. Before Prozingas in the bubble, you have to don't 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 leave oh, that cool. out. Prozingas and Luca was the highest scoring duo in the bubble before he got hurt. So don't leave that out. Um, I'm right. not knocking the Mavs. I actually like the Mavs. I thought still they shouldn't have got rid of Seth Curry, but that's another story. But, listen, mm-hmm. I'm trying to tell you, man, the Phoenix Suns, man. I'm uh, Listen, listen to yep. why I tell you this. The Phoenix Suns. No, but, I'm, I'm because here's why. Sons. Here's why, Max. Let me tell you. If you look at what Chris Paul did with the Oklahoma City Thunder team, and I'm not knocking that team, right? I'm not knocking Shea Alexander or Dennis Schroeder or Steven Adams or – Gallinari, but when you go and you compare him up with a Devin Booker, a Devin Booker, we're talking about a guy who could possibly lead, who have the capabilities of leading the league in scoring, and you could go. He looks like a little smaller, not quite as good Kobe Bryant. Like he, he could do, he could score from anywhere. Except, you know what? That, that might have been the smartest thing you said in 2020. Like that, that comparison was mm-hmm. really good, and and I'm looking at this Phoenix Suns along with what they already have, along with Monty Williams, who's going to get the best out of them, and uh, DeAndre Aiden, who's going to start the season off fresh, not suspended. See, you have to understand, look, when when you're suspended and you come back to a team, one, you have to get your rhythm back, but you also have to get your mental back. That messed with you mentally. And he always was fighting that, I could tell, because – you know, one at one point he would be in the starting lineup. At one point he would be coming off the bench, and I think Monty was sending a message to him that, no, I need you to be dominant every single night. And when he started that, when he started doing that, Monty said, "Here goes your starting role again. Now, don't slack up." So he held them accountable. But you have DeAndre Ayton, who's fresh with a veteran leader like Chris Paul, and a Devin Booker and Cam Johnson, all these pieces they have around them. It's about to be a wrap. I'm still waiting for Monty Williams to pan out as a draft pick. Oh, man. <laughs> I still <laughs> like Look, Hey, listen. <laughs> what they, they took him like sixth or something. They took Monty Williams pretty high. No, listen. I agree with you about the Suns. Here's the thing. When you think about the unknown on that team, they got three hellified th- – uh, sorry, two hellified l- legit 3 and D guys at, at forwards, right? Devin Booker is like a little little uh, mini Kobe Bryant, and and Chris Paul is a cr- is, is a great player who's still playing it at, at like All Star plus levels. So really, what's the unknown in the starting five? It's DeAndre Ayton. That's the unknown, and the guy's already an above average NBA player. If Chris Paul gets the best out of DeAndre Ayton, the Suns are a problem. 
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.